Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, we've got a pretty exciting one, for me at least anyway, and we're going to do some testing for you guys and a bit of playthrough. Now, we're over here on my free-to-play account, which is on the 16th day of logins, and we have just hit our second Mythic Plus character. I was uh, recording a collab, which you'll either have already seen or see is one of the next videos. I'm not sure which order I'm uploading, but I was doing a collab with Danger Gray, and I was talking to him how lucky my epic pulls had been, and I'm like, yeah, I just go into the summons and I spam click and then I've just been getting getting epics and I did that with a single pull that I had and I got myself another smoky when I was still 27 away from the pity so we are getting our smoky up to mythic plus also I've just got the resources to get my Antandra leveled up to 130 and that will allow us to access this stuck point that we were previously at so we can jump in we can go through and we can take a look at the smoky at his exclusive equipment uh, and some thoughts around it because smoky's one is one of those ones where it's extremely powerful in certain situations and doesn't really provide much in other certain situations so I think it's still worth it Smokey is an absolutely amazing unit. He heals based on attack, so you want to get his ascensions up and you want to get the stats into him. But let's jump in. Let's do this first. Jump in. Here we go. Okay. So on one of my previous videos on my other account, which has the uh, Mythic Plus Smokey, people were asking me what the blue aura was that he provides. And I want to go through that for people who don't have him here yet and don't quite understand what that is. So this one, the special aroma gains a third upgrade effect. So after his third ult, he gains the upgrade effect, extending the skill effect range by one tile. The aroma will be enhanced for 10 seconds when this skill gets the third upgrade for the first time, making enemies in skill range lose 12% of their max HP per second. That is, however, capped at 200% of Smokey's attack per second. Um, it goes up to 12%. The clutch one is at level 3. You then stun them for 0.1 seconds. It's effectively a spam interrupt. Every second they're getting uh, interrupted for 0.1 seconds and it can be a fantastic interrupt uh you can interrupt alts and stuff with this kind of thing uh it's fantastic so like it's super clutch but it is a very niche one because it's it, it's huge damage it's great control but it's like it's very far into the battle so it's a very sustained thing and it's only for that limited period so it's for 10 seconds after the third upgrade and then it goes away but i think this is a fantastic effect it's not universally you're not going to see the benefits of it every battle if a battle's over quick you're not going to see it but when it does come in dude the damage starts to chunk away uh me personally i am still leaving uh smoky on my wish list sorry obs crashed but like i, I was saying that uh, i'm gonna leave uh, Smokey on the wish list because he does heal based on attack. Attack is something you want to have. So just I, I'm just going to leave him on to get his stats up because he's such an amazing healer in general. So that is where we're at. Let's go ahead and level up this Antandra. Nice. And let's just go in, hit the gate, and then we'll push some AFK stages and see how we go. We'll play around with him. Now, unfortunately, I still don't have a Rowan because a Mythic plus Smokey in the stall team with Rowan, him... And, um, and what's her face, Coco, along with like Antandra and either like a Brutus or something like that, or a, um, in, like, literally just those three, sorry. So the three healers, Antandra and Cecilia, that comp is so strong, especially once you get Smokey up there, because then you can just out tank. And then when battle gets a bit further in, you know, you're just going to be fine because it, <laughs> by that stage, Smokey's onto his enhanced and then he's just going to melt things as well. So it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, let's go ahead and let's jump this. Uh, I don't know how much damage that uh, Sylvain is going to do. Wait, let me check. Let me check targeting. Uh, no, he's going to charge there. That's not good. Uh, so let's go with that. Uh, she should be able to tank that or we could do that. Let's try it like this. The problem with that is, no, no, we need him advancing there because she'll run up. And th the one thing that kills me with Coco is her range. Her short... Whoops, let's do this, this. Coco's short range is such a, such a, like, just a prick of a point. Okay, and Tantra just got absolutely slapped. Okay, Coco's going before Cecilia, which is a pain. Uh, let's let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. We, we can always adjust it if we have to. But we do have the Supreme. I did upgrade my Cecilia to Supreme now. Um, so she is pretty jacked up. I don't know if we're going to get the next ult. We probably will because Igor is going to bounce around and you'll see it. So on my next Smoky ult, you should see the blue aura. So let's just wait. Oh, he's going to die. Yeah, he's dead. That didn't work. Yeah, he's dead. That sucks. Uh, let's just, dude, he's going to get another card out. Dude, I hate Igor so much. Igor can get, get screwed, to be honest. Please, please kill the card. Please kill the card. Okay, we're good. We're good. 
Oh, Cecilia dropped. That's okay. That's okay. We're okay. We're okay. Surely that doesn't kill me. Yeah, okay, nice. <laughs> Dude. So yeah, like, as you can see there, we didn't actually get to see the smoky exclusive equipment take effect in that fight. But that's that. We've unlocked a new area. Um, sweet, happy days. Let's just get this teleport point. And now we're going to jump into some AFK stages. I'm not going to bore you guys with that stuff. Let's jump over here and let's see if we can see some action from it. Uh, so with this enemy team, uh, I think we, we, we can pretty safely just do with this. Let's just do it like that. That should be perfectly fine. Uh, we'll run the control one. That should be all right. Let's see how this goes. Actually, no, this this team was screwing with me. It just ha it's just one of those abnormal teams that just has so much damage that I just can't deal with it. Yeah, th this team sucked. I, I forgot I was stuck here. It looks like such a basic enemy team, but the damage output is just that high that I get absolutely shafted through it. Uh, let's see if we can get another ult, dude. Dude. Yeah, this team sucks. All right, let's, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go with this. Uh, no, we're going to go with this. That should apply to Antandra. And she can then, hmm, unfortunately, yeah. I wish you could select which character gets it. But that that's going on Antandra. She should live just long enough. She's altered. Dude, she just didn't get quite enough. She was just short on what we needed. I'm going to manually target this. Dude, I didn't get it. I, I didn't. I misclicked. I didn't click it. <laughs> My bad. All right, we lose here. Uh, yeah, there's no chance of that. All right, maybe we got to do. Maybe we got to do Brutus things. Maybe we got to do Brutus things. Maybe we do the. Um, th this is a formation that I've been doing a bit, uh, where we go like this, and we basically let Thorin die, and come back. We let Brutus then tank until he comes back. Then he dies again, and by that time, hopefully we have Carlisle out and buffed. Uh, but for this one, I like using this one to get to see it to ult a bit faster, and the timing normally works. So let's see if we can get this to work. So as you can see, there goes. Okay, okay, there goes Thorin. He's back up now. For some reason, he didn't get healed properly. I, I don't know why his health is so low still. But there goes Cecilia. Can we get the ult? Okay, there's the Coco, which is good, which is good. Heal already. I hear Smokey, 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 please. Dude, dude, Smokey's dead. Yeah, dude, the, these these units, they just, they just, dude. I'll be back in a sec. I'll sort this out. Okay, okay, there, there we go. We ended up going like the full tank team because my theory was as long as I can live it because Coco's a bit awkward. She's more of like an offensive healing to give you that pressure and then you take the damage later. But just running the three tanks, especially with Smokey at the Mythic Plus, it means that even as long as I can survive until his third ult, we're pretty good. Now, we actually sorted everything out pretty easily without having to go to that third ult to get the damage, but at least this one lets you see it because we... we we sort of got ourselves into a good position. So, and the way I did this, I spread the damage between Antandra and Thorin, and then I got Brutus to take some aggro from Thorin, so that essentially it spread the damage so much that they all lived, and Smokey could solo heal all of them. And then we get Carlisle at the back, and we've got the control one. But here comes the next ultimate from Smokey, and you'll see it. So there he goes, and there you start getting that instant sap damage. Now, I think that enemy is technically out of range of the sap damage, but you could see the other two enemies when that blue aura came up, they just got like instantly chunked down. So so let's do let's do this play for a little bit and let's see we're not even going to change formation we're just going to see how this goes um so in this one like it's all about survival so we've got the control um the control artifact on so that we can control enemies and basically survive as long as we can uh and okay brutus is down that kind of sucks and tundra is going to taunt she should leave we're going to get cc with carlisle the muriel is going to probably one shot me when she does hers we got one more ult to get can we survive until that ult please carlisle got her down okay here comes the next ult and check the damage so you can see each second they're just pulsing that damage. It's pretty solid. It's like it's like that clutch thing that allows you just to tank your way through stages. And I think it's a pretty cool style of play, running the Smokey with tank teams. Now, if I had Rowan, I would definitely be running with Rowan, and I feel like we could do it a little bit smoother. But I don't have Rowan, and I don't want to exchange him for my one-week chest. So let's jump into this again. But I feel like it's a pretty good synergy once you can actually just pump it out. Now, unfortunately, because we had two standstill enemies, it doesn't work because we all run up and uh, we kind of got boned by that. So we're going to have to play a different strategy here because these guys are so slow. Uh, it kind of boned us. Uh, but what I'm thinking about doing is something like this. 
and having those two run up, that gives these guys a little bit of time to mosey on. Uh, and then we should actually get it to coverage. And then we should be in range of the heal. Unfortunately, Antandra still goes outside the range of that heal. Uh, that's an issue. So I've got to, I've just got to adjust something there to try and keep Antandra in it. Because if she can stay in it and she can then taunt, we should be pretty good. Um, so let's go again. Dude, I hate it when you clear the hard stage and then you get stuck on the easy stage. <laughs> like, what is that? All right, all right. So um, let me look. If I go like this... Uh, what if... Dude, I feel like Smokey wants to be there. Oh, if I do this. If I do this. This this works. Surely this works. Because Antandra's... Oh, she's out of range again. She keeps getting out of the heal range, I think. Okay, Brutus is still surviving with the shield. We're going to pump a heal into Thorin. Thorin's going to charge. Antandra should taunt. We get the CC here. Perfect. Okay, Antandra, go. Good. Good. One more ult. One more ult after this one. Then we get the blue aura. And then we can sort of see the damage that we can deal with it. Uh, let's go. Next ult, please. Okay, watch this enemy. Here we go. Blue aura. And it just starts melting. Like, obviously, I had Cecilia attack him as well, but it's quite satisfying. I love it. I, I just love seeing the blue aura. It's it's pretty wicked. All right, so now I just need a copy of Thorin, and he'll be Mythic Plus 2, which will be epic. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just keep... I mean, let's just keep with the three tank theme. I feel like the three tank theme is working pretty well for me, so I ain't going to mess with it. Uh, let's do this. Right, Brutus has taken a heap, so Brutus might be the downfall here because uh, we might get close. Oh, and also Antandra gets out of range, but we should be able to pop this ultimate. Hopefully, yes. Okay, pops it right in the middle. That's what I was hoping for, which is perfect. Uh, we are, we, we've lost Smokey as well, but maybe we can just do this with Carlisle when he comes back out. Wait. Oh, no. Brian was attacking us. Okay, okay, okay. That, that didn't, it didn't quite work the way I, I, I had planned. I apologize. All right, let's go again. Let's try this again. Uh, I, I'm, I'm digging the triple tank. Uh, we might do Thorin there and Antandra there. Uh, I think, wait, can we do Smokey there? Randomly, can we do Smokey there? Can we, can we do something randomly like this? I'm going to see if Smokey can live it because we got the control artifact. This is just a random play. Okay, so now he's controlled. Smokey first ult. Good. Oh, we got interrupted. The CC. I forgot the CC. Yeah, that's my bad. That's my stupidity coming out there. Okay, Smokey... I mean, o dude, Odie and Smokey, since they changed, changed Eddie to Odie, I always get them confused. But hey, we ended up getting it anyway. That's okay. That's okay. Nice, 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 nice. All right, let's keep cracking. Battle, let's go. All right. Uh, dude, I hate him so much. Who's in the back there? That's a Cecilia. Uh, that's fine. I, I think with the Cecilia, we might just try and win the Cecilia race. Um, besides that, we should be pretty good. We got melee, melee, and then we can uh, use Carlisle to beat it. Uh, so let's do it like that. If we put him there... Uh, shit, how do I want to do this? Actually, let's have him as the sacrificial lamb. Let everyone attack. Uh, then we put Antandra to run up late, and then we put Brutus to run in and taunt. And, and we should be pretty fine. I think. Don't quote me. Okay, with this much tanking, and everyone everyone's in the ring, I think. Is Thorin in the ring? I don't know. So there's Carlisle. Look for the CC. Nice. That's Was that second or first ult from Smokey? Probably first. Okay, we ain't even going to need it. We ain't even going to need it. Yeah, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. All right, sweet. Let's keep it cracking. All right. I want that wolf guy to attack Cecilia so that she can gain the energy. I feel like that's a fair play. So if we go like this, and then we have him there, that's targeting Cecilia. Yep, okay. Uh, actually, the problem is... Yeah, let's let's do that. I don't think the wolf guy kills the sea, and it's just free energy. So I don't see why I wouldn't do it. Oh, dude, I, for this strat, though, I need the control um, artifact. That's the one catch. Although we might not. We might not. That, that was a pretty handy ult there. Uh, where, no, because we're going to get hit hard by the Carolina. Oh, no, Smokey didn't get hit. I thought Smokey was going to get hit by it. Uh, if we get one more Smokey ult, we, we could be clutch here. No, no, he's dead. He's dead. All right, yeah, so for that strat... For that strat, we need to put the control one on so we avoid a bit of damage. All right, let's see how this goes. 
Okay, so all my tanks are in healing range. Brutus is procced. There's the first death on Thorin. Thorin's coming back. We're getting some heals up. Uh, maybe that wolf is too much for me to manage. I think the wolf's too much for me to manage. I thought it wasn't going to be too bad, but it is by the looks of it. Yeah, okay. Dude, I didn't think that wolf was going to be so bad to manage. So what we might do is instead, we'll do that. We'll, we'll change to this so we can get that fast ult again. Uh, and let's see how this goes. Because this st still keeps everyone in range of, like, of heal range. Okay, Thorin died. We're beefing up a heal. Thorin's charging. Brutus is dead. Carlisle's in there. Not doing too much. His second heal. Dude, Smokey, Smokey, no. All right, I, I got to target Carlisle and make sure he, he attacks uh, Carolina. All right, let's try this. Uh, let's get you there. All right, let's just wait for this one. I don't know if you can interrupt Carolinas with timing. Uh, and I'm not willing to wait and check. So let's just go drop straight on top of her. Oh, she still gets it off. Who did she throw it on? I, I didn't even see who got CC'd though. Or did she fail it? Did she fail it? Dude. Dude, this is actually a tough stage. All right, all right. Let me, let, let me, maybe, maybe, maybe we shift away from the three tank cheese. Maybe we shift away from the three tank cheese. Uh, if we drop that, then I think we drop you. We go to my other formation that I do like, which is this one. It's a pretty solid formation. That allows Brutus to do that, but I do want Brutus to take the aggro um, of that one away. But at this, maybe they get all grouped up and then Brutus taunts everyone. We're going to leave the attack speed so we can get the fastest possible ult. Uh, and then we're going to try it with Coco. Otherwise, we can try it with Odie as well. So let's try this. Let's see. But like I said, without a Rowan, it makes these stall comps... Really Dude, we just got absolutely freaking slapped. Yeah, without a Rowan, it's just so hard to do these teams. Um, the stall teams, especially to enable Smokey to do his thing. And I just don't think we're going to get it. I just don't think we're going to get it. I think we've still got to play for the split damage. Uh, but what I can do is I can play around with this positioning to get the best optimal... Uh, situation for the enemy attacking. So now the enemy's on the Brutus, which is good. Is it on the Brutus there? No. Uh, if I swap that, still on the Brutus, we should have Thorin run up, and then Brutus should sneak in the gap. Uh, let's see if this goes. I'm curious. Okay, Brutus still runs around, but we're still in heal range. But Brutus, like, there's just too much damage coming out of that enemy comp. Because as you can see, everyone just gets tapped. Like, straight up tapped. Uh, let's go Let's go CC one again, see if that helps. CC, yep. Swap those just to see. Brutus is going to run around anyway, so that keeps all the enemies there. He does the first taunt. Like, Thorin's just taking damage from everywhere. He's had his first death. We're going to get topped off heal. Antardra's going to taunt here. We're going to charge with the Thorin. We're going to get Carlisle out. Who's this Carl is Carlisle? Carlisle's smacking Carolina, but then she's going to hit Smokey and we're going to be boned. Dude, she literally one-taps Smokey. Shit, I think I'm stuck on this stage. I actually think I'm stuck on this stage. Um, I really wish I had the uh, Rowan for this type of stuff. Can I? And I don't have... And I don't... Uh, well, Avala wouldn't work anyway because I can't target Carolina because I need to stop her using her ult. That is the biggest thing I need to do and I can't do that in a way that I can see. Because I can hit her with my... Um, I can hit her with my Cecilia with Carlisle... But Carlisle doesn't do enough damage to get the job done. Maybe I need to spread my units, but even spread, I don't think we still get what I'm looking for. So let's just let's just have a bit of a play here. All right, so if I do this, yeah, you can see her energy. Her energy is way too high. So I'm just going to do it here to control the melee and see what we can get to happen. Okay, so he's frozen, but can we tank with Antandra? No, we cannot. All right. You know, I'll be back in a sec, see if we can get this. Otherwise, I think I might be stuck here. All right, we did just manage to clutch it. What I had to do was adjust the formation so that Antandra was the one in the center of the group getting hit by the freeze. And that was what I, like, because that was the only way, because Smokey was just getting one tap. So in this one, Antandra's in that middle. You can see she got the ult, but it went on in Antandra. We managed to keep her healing because it happened during our shield. Then she fell off. That's okay. Here's another ult from Smokey. Then we go into charge with the Thorn. It goes off anyway, which is fantastic. We get Carolina really close. We drop him back out. Uh, and then we get that next heal, and then we start pulsing some damage, but Smokey dies instantly, but we do have the next one up, and we get it done. So that was a pretty clutch save.
pretty happy we got through that one. Now, I'm not expecting to clear this next stage. We'll have a quick play and see how we go, but uh, I'm not expecting crazy things from this one. So what do we got? We got you, um, Arden. So Arden's going to be the pain. So I'm going to put Brutus on this side to see if he can eat the Arden roots along with Thorin. Uh, she, I think she's going to die to those two, but let, let's just let's just see how it goes. We'll leave the haste one on. Maybe we'll run the CC one. Maybe that'll be better. But Brutus outside of the range of the heal. Look at that bomb taking damage. Okay. We're okay. We're not. We have. We haven't been rooted yet on the Smoky, which is super clutch. We're getting Carlisle out, which helps with the survival. We're getting a charge there. Okay, we're gonna get a second ult here. So one more ult and we start sapping damage. We're gonna get another Carlisle out, which is super clutch. Unfortunately, we finally got rooted, and that's gonna be the end of the game. Honestly, I feel like we're kind of close on this one. I feel like we're kind of close on this one. Um. If, if we can get to that last ult, I feel like we'll be pretty good. Uh, you know what I might do? Let's try this uh, and put you there. Uh, I'll just see if this get this, this first Carlisle can be a bit more clutch for us. Uh, so there's the bomb that comes down. It hits Brutus' shield. It kills Thorin. Brutus is dead. Smokey is controlled. So we're kind of boned here no matter what we do. Um, so we, we just got to retry that. We got to play for the RNG on Smokey not getting controlled. That's pretty much what we're doing here. Um, let's see if Smokey can avoid control. But next next route, Smokey's just de done. Yeah, so unfortunately, because of that... Dude, why did Thorin not get it? It must have been timing. So maybe the haste one is getting us what we need. But let's go ahead and try the control artifact. See if this gets us something. So, okay, we do control the Arden on that, which is honestly pretty clutch. No, we get... Why is it always Antandra and him getting uh, Smokey and Antandra? Um, not going not gonna to lie, that's pretty frustrating. Let's, let's try this one more time. Alright, so th it's those two that get rooted the first time. Oh, it's because Thorin's in his revival. It's because Thorin's in his revival. So it must be the haste one that gives us the best timing or something. Because uh, that first one, we didn't get controlled with the smoky straight away. So there's that. We're back up. And yeah, there we go. You get the roots on the others. We get the Antandra. Okay, no, no, no. That, 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 hmm. I think this may be us, guys. I, I think this may be us stuck. Unless I replay for uh, really crazy RNG. But let's see. Let's see. All right. So there comes the bomb. Thorin dead. Brutus dead. We didn't get rooted, which is fantastic. And Tandra. Okay, I might try. I might try swapping. Um, and Tandra. Dude, how did we get so far in that first battle, dude? I, I feel like this always happens where. You do it, you get good RNG once, and then you just can't replicate that in the future. It, 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 it just feels like it's a thing. Okay, Antandra, use your shield. Use your shield. Yes, yes, yes. Live, live, live. Control. No! No, we must have got perfect timing last time and interrupted Muriel with our uh, Carlisle. That must have been the difference. Well, let's do this, because for some reason, maybe that weird positioning one, one place adjustment uh, is what's doing it. Although previously we did have... Uh, okay, Smokey got done. Dude, I, the, the RNG of this shit's going to kill me. But I think I think that's where we'll leave it. But basically, Smokey OP, if I had a Rowan, I would get to show you guys his exclusive equipment a bit more. But it is it is good. But like I said, it's not like the most game-breaking thing. But just anything into Smokey, because he's an already amazing unit, is great. And if you can play those stall comps and get him to that point where he can sap the damage, then it's fantastic. But like I said, without a Rowan, I'm kind of in that struggle position. Because Rowan does two things. He helps your team survive longer into the battle and boost that energy regeneration so that Smokey can use more ults faster. And that's sort of the synergy that we get. But unfortunately, once again, I'm holding on to my seven day chest to get Euron because I'm that makes me only one copy away from Euron. And like, I don't know, I'll get Rowan from the store or something if I have to. But let's do a couple more tries until the game says, no, you suck too bad. You're not allowed to play anymore. Let's let's give it a look. OK, uh, there's a heal. Yes. OK, charging. Oh, dude, we, we just missed the interrupt. So, so that Muriel, if we, if we waited an extra second with our, um, with our what's her face, with our Cecilia, we would have interrupted the Muriel. Uh, I'm pretty sure Muriel does have an interrupt window. Like enemy Cecilia's have an interrupt window where you can cast your control on them as they're casting their ult and it interrupts them because of the, the, the way the iframes work. I'll see if I can show you guys. Oh, uh, dude, I was controlled. I was controlled. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's where we're going to leave it. That is where I am currently stuck on my account. We're going to do some progression. We've got plenty of progression to go ahead and work through. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.